In the lecture on Wednesday, we defined the derivative of a function using the slope of the tangent line. So here's what we get on Wednesday. Suppose you have a function you know, x and fx. fx can be any function, so let's just make a curve. And then we have an x value, say, um, here. This is your x value, which is a. We want to find out the derivative of this function. We call that f prime at this location a. So the meaning of that is the derivative of function f at x equals a. So at this point a, what is the derivative? And we can make the tangent line. So the tangent line would be something like, like that. Okay, at this a. So this is what we call tangent line. And then the definition is f prime a is equal to the limit so it's a limit of x goes to a okay fx minus fa divided by x minus a so the meaning of that is let me draw another one so we can see clear what's going on here. Suppose this is A, all right? You can pick some x values. So I pick x here, right? And connect these two points. So I have one line, and the slope of this line is easily calculable. So the slope of this line Let's say m is the slope, right? So you have fa right here, and uh, fx is here. Right, so you have two points, one at a, fa, another one at x, fx. And you connect these two dots the slope of the line is equal to change in y over change in x, right? This is something we uh, already know. And uh, it's simply the change in y is fx minus fa, and change in x is x minus a. So this is how we calculate the slope. And then we let x, this point here, get closer and closer to A. Okay, now if you do that, you can see this. If you choose another X point, you know, a, a little bit closer, and the slope will be this one. And if you choose another X point, the slope will be this one. If X is very close to A, then you just have the tangent line at this location A. So the tangent line would be something like, like that, the blue one. All right, so this is how we define the slope of the tangent line, which is called derivative of the function. So it's a limit. Now, there's another way to define this derivative. You can also say f prime a is equal to the limit, because here we let x to be a little bit off from a, so uh, x is equal to, say, a plus h, okay? When x gets closer to a, then we see that h must be uh, close to zero. 
So here the limit would be h goes to zero. And uh, so let's just use this um, formula to, de to define the, the, the second one. fx will be fa plus h because x equals a plus h minus fa over x minus a because x equals a plus h. So x minus a is just equal to h, so it's a h theorem. So we have this second formula for the derivative of a function. Either one is fine. Okay, you will get the same answer um, no matter which one you use. Okay. Sometimes the first one seems to be easier, sometimes the, sec the, first, uh, the second one seems to be easier. So this is what we, did, uh, what we covered in, in the lecture on Wednesday. And let me show you uh, one example. Okay. Uh, we did this. Uh, we did this example on Wednesday. Now uh, I want to do this in another uh, method because we have uh, two definitions for derivative. So this is an example where you have let me use the, f x equals x squared plus nine x. Right, this is your function, and you want to find out the derivative of the function at x equals two. In other words, if you plot this function, and uh, what is the um, the slope of the tangent line at x equals two? So we can put up, uh, make the plot. make a very simple sketch of the plot. So let's see, you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So when x equals 0, f x equals 0. So the, the plot will go through this this line, this um, point in the origin. When x equals 1, you have 1 squared plus 9 is 10. So it's, you know, some big value. When x equals 2, that's even bigger. Okay, When x equals negative 1, it's going to be a negative value. So if you really make the plot, you can see that um, it's going to be something like, like that. Something like this. All right? And what we want is the slope at 2, which is, uh, this is not a very good graph, but suppose 2 is you know, here. And we want to know the slope, right, or the derivative at x equals 2. So how, um, how steep the curve is at x equals 2. This is what we want to find out for f prime 2. And since we have two definitions, so if we use the first one, you know, the one here, okay, f prime 2, remember a equals 2, because we want to know the derivative at 2. So a equals 2 is equal to the limit x goes to that point 2, fx minus f2, and uh, x minus 2. Okay, so that one we just plug in what we know about the function. So you can say x squared plus 9x minus f2. f2 is what? It's 2 squared plus 9 times 2. That's 4 plus 18, right? That's 22 over x minus 2. So whenever you see this quadratic polynomial on the top, right, the first thing you can try is to factorize uh, this uh, polynomial. So you try to have x plus a number times x plus another number. And um, 
in most cases, it should work. So what we have here is going to be x minus 2 and x plus 11. So x squared plus 9x minus 22 is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 11. Now you can see we can cancel these two because you know x goes to 2, which means x is a number that is close to 2, but it's not 2. So x is never 2 when you talk about the, um, the, the limit. So you can cancel these two, and uh, what you get is x plus 11, which is 13, right? When x goes to 2, you have 2 plus 11 is 13. So this is the first definition. The second one is this. It's another uh, limit, but it's h goes to 0. So we are using this definition here. And you have f, right, a plus h. So a equals 2, that's 2 plus h, minus f2 over h. So h is a number that is um, getting closer and closer to 0. Now you need to do the right-hand side, right? You need to do this. So you're simply plugging 2 plus h to fx. So whenever you see x, you replace that by 2 plus h. So let's do that. It's going to be 2 plus h squared minus, uh, plus 9 times 2 plus h. Okay, you get that because fx is given right here and you just replace x by 2 plus h minus f2 f2 we, we know that is 22 over h now you can take the um the square so we get 4 plus 4 h plus h squared plus 18 plus 9 h minus 22 over h. Okay, now you can cancel, you can combine terms. You have h squared, okay, and 4h, 9h, that's 13h. And 4, 18, that's 22, minus 22, that's exactly 0. So these three numbers cancel. And then you have h on the bottom. All right, now you have h both on the top and also on the bottom. So you can cancel h, you know, this one with this and one of the h in the first term. So you have h plus 13. Now, when h goes to 0, h plus 13 should be is 13 because h will be very close to 0 so the limit is equal to 13 okay so this 13 is the same as this one now this is how you do the uh, derivative of a function at a given point you have two options you know two definitions either one is fine they are totally equivalent Sometimes the first one is easier. Sometimes the second one is um, a better choice. So, okay, this is how you do that.